Hello, I'm Nick Sobraka. And I'm Munga Vigani. The Oak Leaf Online starts now. You're watching The Oak Leaf Online, a production of the Media 19 Studio Production Class. Today is September 16, 2021. The California 121 wildfire season is well on its way. So far, according to CAL FIRE, there have been more than one confirmed fatality, more than 3,000 structures damaged or destroyed, and close to 2 million acres burned. The fire season is starting earlier and ending later, and climate change is widely to be considered the reason. Warmer temperatures, less rainfall, and higher winds are making forests more susceptible to severe wildfires. The length of the fire season is estimated to have increased by 75 days across the Sierras and corresponds with the increase in, in fires across the state. Our student reporters, Debbie Amboy Payne and Brendan Smith from 2019's Journalism 55 class report on how California residents can help keep their communities safe during this increasingly dangerous season. During wildfires, as many as 90% of homes and buildings that are damaged or destroyed were first ignited by embers or other fires set by embers. We spoke to SRJC student Norma Gomez, who witnessed this firsthand during the Tubbs fire in Coffee Park, Santa Rosa. Hi, my name is Norma Gomez, and I'm a student at the Santa Rosa JC campus. Two years ago, um, around 10 or 11, I could start to smell, smell smoke. And then later on at night, um, you could see ashes. It looked like it was raining ashes. The winds were so high that my godparents said it was raining embers, so it looked like it was just raining light, like little fires everywhere. As part of its service to the community, the UC Master Gardener Program of Sonoma County introduced FireWise Landscaping to help homeowners make their landscape more fire adapted. So um, my name is Mimi Enright, and I'm a program manager at the University of California Cooperative Extension Office here in Sonoma County. And uh, what a Master Gardener program entails is extensive training and education by instructors from the University of California and local experts on uh, sustainable landscaping and horticultural topics. Since October 2017, we've been particularly focused on developing content for our community on firewise landscaping. It was really clear that that was a topic that was here to stay, uh, and we knew it was incredibly important that we incorporate that content into the outreach that we do. It's really about appropriate plant selection and placement and overall design practices of perhaps in introducing hardscape elements to break up areas of plants so you don't have a big mass area of planting that's heavily mulched that would just transmit the fire directly to the house. That you look at planting in more discrete islands of plantings with appropriate spacing of those plants uh, and separate those by say perhaps a, a gravel walkway, a four foot wide gravel walkway that breaks up those organic masses, right, that could ignite and transmit the fire to the house. One of the UC Master Gardener's initiatives after the October 2017 fires was working with SRJC on the living learning landscapes on Elliott Avenue. And the intent was to develop some landscape design templates that reflected sustainable landscape practices as well as firewise design practices from a sustainability perspective, they'll be using much less water. In fact, we're getting some irrigation rebates from the city of Santa Rosa based on the fact that we're installing these low water use landscapes in place of what was already existing there. So we're particularly proud of how they can demonstrate to people that a sustainable low water use uh, landscape that also captures water that's also firewise can also be beautiful. I, I think especially on the heels of the Kincaid fire, we've now experienced two significant fire events within a two-year period. It's crystal clear that, you know, this is our future and we need to be better prepared for it. And in fact, every property owner, I believe, has a responsibility to be making their um, property as prepared for fire as they can. Thank you, Debbie and Brendan. One of the most dangerous fires near Santa Rosa this year is the Calder fire. The blaze started on August 14th and has been active since August 23rd, 23 days and counting. It has burned more than three square miles, damaging more than 3,000 buildings, and has been threatening the popular vacation destination of South Lake Tahoe, forcing a variety of evac evacuations. SRJC students, reporters Nick Vitas and Eric Copley traveled to South, South Tahoe this past weekend to report on the fires there. Here are some of their images. 
The Calgary Fire began the morning of August 14th and has burned more than 300 square miles in the South Lake Tahoe area, according to Cal Fire. 490 fire engineers and more than 30 different agencies have committed people and resources to fighting this fire. Governor Newsom declared at a press conference that fighting the Caldor Fire was a priority over the other 15 major fires in California. More than 4,000 personnel are fighting this fire with engines, dozers, helicopters, water tenders, and hand crews. It is currently 50% contained and evacuation orders for 22,000 residents were lifted on Sunday and more orders were reduced to warnings. But elsewhere, some existing large fires continues to grow. Thank you, Nick and Eric, for your reporting. That concludes the first episode of the Oak Leaf Online. Thank you for watching.